This project is going to discuss uh, cool and warm hues. Now, we've already looked at the colour wheel and we know about our complementary colours, we know about our primary, we know about our secondary colours. Now, a, a colour wheel also goes in the same rotation as the colours of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. When you look at the colour wheel, you'll also be able to see that when you cut a line through the centre of it, you've got warm colours on one side and cool colours on the other. Now, I'm showing you this watercolour palette that I use and it's already been divided up. I've got my cool colours on one side and my warm colours on the other side. Cool colours, if you think about things that are icy or minty and if you think about warm colours, if you think about the hot sun, salsa, oranges, you've got your warm colours. What we're going to do is we're going to create our first name using either cool colours or warm colours. Now you just pick those two types of palettes, you don't com combine the two together. First what you need, and you're going to get, is a paper plate. I'm going to use this, this lid here. Um, I'm going to do warm hues. So I'm going to use warm colours. So I'm going to use a red. I've got pinks, oranges, yellows. And I'm going to draw around my circle. Okay, and we just discard that, we don't need that. Now with you, when you're using your plate, you can use your plate as a palette afterwards to make additional colours. Now my first name's Laurie, so I'm going to get another colour. I'm going to use a ruler, and I've got circular items. And I'm going to put my first name within the circle. And what it does is it divides the circle up into sections. And I'm going to use different colours of oil pastels and what we're doing as well is we're actually using the resist technique. So there's LO. I'm going to need to create an R. So I'm going to actually I'll do it like this. I'm going to put straight back from my R. I'm going to put that as a half. Do that. And that. You will get the opportunity to practice on a piece of scrap paper before we do this. I'm going to do my other R. I'm actually going to do it backwards and make that part of the bag. Got an R there. And then I need an I. I'm just going to divide that section up for my letter I. So I've got L-O-R-R-I. There's my design. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my watercolour palette and just use warm hues. Warm hues again are red, orange, yellow, pinks. And I'm going to do each section with a different kind of hue. If you don't know what I mean by hue, the hue is another word for colour. And in each section, I'm going to fill it in. And the oil pastel actually keeps the colour within that, that boundary. Mm -hmm. I'm use this, this nice hot red here. And that's where you'd probably need your plate so that you could make additional oranges using red and yellow, combining them, add more red to make it a hotter orange or add more yellow. You could even add a, a white to soften the colour, give it a, t a tint. There's a lovely pink there. Okay, just going to fill that in. Actually, while I've got that pink, I'm going to use it on that side too. It's like it mirrors it. And what we're actually creating here as well, it's sort of like a stained glass window effect. And it's very art deco looking. There's a soft orange, we're going to use a bit of that. Okay, remember as well when you're using watercolour, paints and brushes. The brush that you use is a very soft hair and you don't scrub the paper because what happens is you actually destroy the surface of the paper. It starts to get bally and then it creates a, a hole. So it's a delicate process, very fragile watercolour paper is. I'm going to add some yellow. Like that. Just put a bit of yellow. I'm just going to go around that edge there. There's a nice 
fun pink there. Let's try that. Activate that up. There we go. Let's take that back a bit. That's it. Take that red that I used earlier. Link that up there. Again, the oil pastel keeps it within within the area. There's a fun pink. I'm not going to use that pink. I'm going to go with this nice warm orange. Trying also to cover those that's it. Cover those white lines that are showing through the oil pastel. And I'll just pick one last colour. Right, I'm gonna go move again. We use that nice sandy colour. Reminds me of a hot desert. There we go. And there what we have created is a stained glass effect with our name using the resist technique and this one here is actually using the cool palette. So these are the cool hues and these are the warm hues.